Kutasichas Chelik Kas Zayin Parshas Chuma Sicha Gimel. The Sicha is based on the Rambam, Hilchis Beis Abchira, and a Rambam and Hilchis Melachim. So uh, let's start off with the Rambam Hilchis Beis Abchira. The Ramam starts off, and Perik Aleph, Halacha Aleph. We're going to read Perik Aleph, Halacha Aleph through Halacha Gimel. Very interesting setup of Ram. First, he starts off with the mitzvah of building a base of English. And uh, I'm going to read that part inside. <clears throat> but he, the last line brings the Pasuk, Asuli Migdash, that the Chiyuv and Beis Migdash is learned from the Osuli Migdash. And he brings a kind of sparish, Vitaria Mishkan Sha'asa Meisha. Right away goes to the Mishkan that Meisha made. The Haya Levi Sha'a was only temporary. Shanamar, <clears throat> as it says, Ki Levasam Ad Otta. You have not yet arrived. Okay. Then, Ram does something that's totally uncharacteristic. And as the Rebbe points out in the Sicha, Allah Bayes, he goes through a history how the Mishkan evolved eventually to the Beis Hamikdash between Allah Bayes and Allah Gimel. And he goes into the history, Kivish and Nichnasul Aretz, when they came into Eretz Yisrael, Hamidu Hamishkan Begilgol. In the 14 years of capturing Eretz Yisrael and dividing it, they had the Mishkan in Gilgal. And there they came to Shilite. Now they moved on to a more permanent <coughs> structure. Not totally permanent, but more permanent. <coughs> Sorry. They used stones. Appears to Yiriyas a Mishkan Olav, and they used the Yiriyas of the Mishkan to cover it. Although it was been a building of stones, it did not have a uh, roof. And how many years was it there? He says, Mishin Samach Tes Shona Omad Mishkan Shilai. 369 years it stood. Um, Eli, when Eli Anavi died, it was destroyed of all the naive. They came to Naive, they built another Migdash. They came to Given, and there they built the Migdash. They came to the eternal place of the Migdash. He may not be given Shava Hamish Shama. The other step mentions a lot of details here. It's incredible Lush Narama from beginning to end, and we don't have the time to get into every detail uh, of this Rambam. <laughs> it's really, really incredible what he stresses, what he doesn't stress, the years, when, now. It's really very interesting. But this whole historic um, this whole historic review seems a bit out of place for the Sefer of the Rambam, as the Rebbe asks, <clears throat> because the Rambam is not a history, history book. And as we know, when he does resort to historical facts, he is trying to tell us something that has to do with the understanding of the halacha, Understanding of the concept that we're discussing. And then finally, <clears throat> no, no, I say finally, there's a lot more after that, but finally, in Allah and Gimel, he ends this discussion. It's once the Migdash is built in Yishalayim. It's over with. No more building any wells, any any houses of worship for God. There's no home 
for generations ever, only in Shalayim. Ubahara Maria Shema, specifically in Har Maria there. Again, we can sit on every word here. And that it says, David. This is the home of God. This is Mizbeach. And Vaimer Zeis Minuchasi Ade Ad. This is my resting place forever. Okay, just a note. I I I, I was a number of years ago um, in Eretz Yisrael, and uh, the, the people who we went with and took us uh, took us on a tiul, and they took us to Michigan Shilai. It was really fascinating to hear and to see what went on over there and uh, the area that they believe is the place of Mishkan Shile. <clears throat> and um, it was just a, a fascinating thing. And just to note that being that it was not a permanent abode, it was only a temporary abode, so there's no Kedusha to the place itself. And uh, which is really phenomenal. You know, there was a, there was, it was the Mokim of a structure built as a mishka, as a migdash, but it doesn't carry any, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have an effect on the place. So, whereas the makam hamigdash, although now it's in the hands of, uh, of, 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 of other religion, <coughs> is still as holy as it always has been. <clears throat> really um, fascinating. Anyway, um, the Rebbe in this Sikha um, focuses on the main, one main point, and that is, and, I, and I'm going to bring it out without getting into all the details of the Sikha, because that's not the purpose of the share, is the um, uniqueness of three mitzvahs that are seem to be mentioned very often. And that is that um, the Ramam mentions in Hilchus Balach that there are three mitzvahs that the Jews were commanded when they went into Eretz Yisrael. One was the, uh, to appoint a king, to eradicate Amalek, and to build a Mishkan, a Migdash. And, um, <clears throat> and the Gemara brings a different Pasuk. <laughs> the Gemara brings a Pasuk from the Torah. And the Gemara brings also this Pasuk. Um, the Rambam um, Brings only this pasuk of Aiki Yashem Amela Bebeisay. He skips uh, the pasuk that the Torah brings, and the question is why. Again, there's a lot of discussion uh, on the side notes, and uh, uh, we're, we're, we're going to avoid all that just so that we focus on the main point of the the, the point that the Rebbe brings out, which is a uh, incredible point, and we're going to elaborate on that. The other question <clears throat> that's central to this is what we asked. Um, the, 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 then a second point is that the, the Rambam brings the Pasuk, as we mentioned, Nalach Alev, because it says, and everybody asks the question that this Pasuk of Asli Migdash that the Rambam brings is talking about the Mishkan. And uh, so they try to bring the different Pasuk, Vayamok HaMashiv, Chadar Pasuk. And then the Rambam writes, and he goes through the history. So first of all, why is he stressing Maish Rabbeinu here? Second, 
what is this historic review? What's the purpose of that historic review? And the Rebbe brings out a point here that the Gemara says, Shalish Mitzvis, the Stabu Kishinichim Solaris. You could learn <clears throat> on the surface that there are three separate mitzvahs that were told to be done. And it happens to be that those were the three important mitzvahs in coming into Tessus Show. So the point that the that makes is that no, they're not three separate mitzvahs that are related only in the sense that they have to be done when they come into Tessus Show. But each of those mitzvahs are, are, are intertwined with the other one, and they need each other. And the shlemus of each of the mitzvahs is through the other one, other two. <clears throat> the shlemus of the mitzvah of appointing a king is only when, as a result of that, there's, a, there's, a, there's the eradication of, of Zaresh al-Amolik, the children of Amolik, and there is the minion base up here, the minion of the base Amish. And that's why the Ramma brings this passage. And he said, look, I got a house. And he brings that passage. And not the passage of Niach Lachem Mikolavech. Because in the passage of Niach Lachem, it just says that at that point you build. No, here from Melech David's statement, it's it's more than that. It's this is the reason this is connected to that. That the Binyan Basinish has a connection to him. And now that I am here, I am a point, I'm my I'm my kingship, I have control. That's I need to build. And that is the and why does he mention Mishkan Shasam Mesha? I mean, why does he mention the whole history? Because he wants to show that that exactly happened in the time of the Midbar. Maisha Benu was a king. <clears throat> As the Ramam says in Hilches, um, in these Allahs of Besam Khir, Perikwal Allah Hidal, when he speaks about Ain Mesifan Alaiir Ayala Zaris. And he writes, Why do we know that? Because Maisha Benu was the one that did it. Maisha Benu Melachaya. So and it was there, of course, the the the, the uh, incident with Amalek. So all that brings out the three things being intertwined and connected to each other. <clears throat> now that and, and forget beginning of Hilchas Beis here. That's where he tells it to you right away. <clears throat> um, that is the obviously taking a a very very. Uh, Involving sicha, a lot of details, and just giving a synopsis of the main point of the sicha. So I want to take it this concept and delve into it a little further, because there seems to be, albeit that the Rebbe brings out that the Rambam here in Ilchis Beis is hinting at least at the fact that there was a melech and there was, a, and all three things took place. However, Hilches here appears before Hilches uh, Melachim in the Rambam, as we all know. Yeah. Well, one of the advantages of learning Rambam is whether you get to know all the halachas or not, at least you get to know the order. Um, so, being that that's the important, there's a message here of, of um, <clears throat> the message of the interconnection between these three mitzvahs, wouldn't it be the appropriate place here in Ilchiz Beis Abchira to tell you the Shalosh Mitzvah, the Stavi Yisrael, the Shaski Sassel Arts? I mean, outright, not in a remez of Maisha Menu, but outright. As he does in Hilchis Malachim, Perik Aleph Alochal, he writes, Sholish Mitzvah, the Stavi Sholish Askis, Limnis Lamela, and brings the Pasuk, Lachis Ashram, Malik, he brings the Pasuk, we'll live in this place up here, and he brings the Pasuk, he brings the Pasuk. Now, 
let's analyze the halachas in Hilchas Malach. That was halacha Aleph that I just read to you. That there are the three mitzvahs. Now, halacha Beis is where he starts this idea of what comes first. Minui melech, kaidim l'molchem esamolech. Appointing the king comes before, and he brings the posse. Achros hazare shalamolech, kedem es l'minyin abayis. Precedes beis amigdash. Oyeki yeshu ha-melech v'beis. And that's it. Then the Rambam asks a question, which is, Sounds, you know, as much as things don't seem to fit in the Rambam, this seems to be like totally out of sync with the way Rambam, with the Rambam is interested in giving us information. That's the following question. I just told you that it's a mitzvah, sholish mitzvah in the stav. Why didn't they wish to want? Why is this here? What's this doing in the Rambam? And his answer, they asked with 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 plans, with with uh, with, 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 with not, not sincerely. They didn't ask in order to do the mitzvah. They had enough of Shmuel. They didn't like him. They didn't like what he was doing. Obviously. So they 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 they, they tested not only him, they tested David. That's why David didn't want. I mean, that's a beautiful speech for a rabbi and Shul to talk about. But what is it doing in the Rama? So and, and then, so I want to just take a look at the halachas here. I want to I wanna see the, the interesting things that are here in this drama. First of all, you know, okay, we understand he wants you to know the order of things, but shouldn't he first explain what a melech is? Yeah, he goes through afterwards all oh, details, what this job is, what's he here for, and what's he supposed to be doing. Uh, and then tell us what he's, you know, the order of things. No, right away, boom, order of of how what goes first, second, and third. That's the most important thing in Hilchas Zimalach. <clears throat> and then we, we, we said it in Hilchas Beis Abhira, he mentions it as a remez with the remez, uh, with, with the remez explanation. I don't want to note, and there, and there, um, in the Sicha, uh, alludes to the Seifah Mitzvahs. Just to note that Ramam and Seifah Mitzvahs, in all three Mitzvahs, he keeps bringing that same Brisa, Shalosh Mitzvahs Nestavu. Shalosh Mitzvahs Nestavu, Sai, a Mitzvah Chof, which is the Mitzvah of Binyam Besamigdash, Sai, a Mitzvah Kuf Ein Gimel. Which is the mitzvah of Mini Melech, appointing a king, and Sai, and also in the mitzvah Kuf Peiches, which is the mitzvah of Chiyas Amolek, and all three, he tells you all the time, these are the three. And we were told, Shalosh Mitzvah Nesav. And this is incredibly uh, feeding into the recite of the Rebbe, that they're all dependent how, why the Ram has to mention every single time, every time that the, the, the connection to all three. It's obvious. I mean, it's as clear as can be that what the Rebbe is saying in the Sikh is, is so clear in the Rama. <clears throat> now, I want to go back to this question. We asked it as a question why the Ram talks about it here. You know, I have a bigger question. So, so they did it Shalai Lushma. They didn't do it for the right reason. They asked for a king for the wrong reason. So what? But which day that a mitzvah Shalai Is it Ramah passing that, that, that you can't be Makai with mitzvah Shalai Lushma? It has to be only Lushma. Or is he just stressing the fact that they did it again? There was a, sort of a rebellion against Shmuel. So that's why it wasn't. It's, it's so hard to grasp. What? what? 
Okay. So I, I want to now in in in, in Hilchas Malachim Perik Dalid, Malachi Yud. The Alma writes a very interesting thing about what a king's mission is. Call a aretz shekayvish harei shalom. The nice and lavada, and he gives it to his whatever he captures his give to his servants. Lan shemachama kimashi and he decides how to how to divide it. Ubechalei la dvarim dinai din whatever he decides that's where it is. Ubakayl yu ma'isel shemachamai. It's got to be a an elchid do it shemachamai. Now. Listen to the next line. The Tia Magomosa, his intent, Umachshafte, in his thoughts, Lahorim Dasa Emes, to elevate the true laws, Ulamale Sa'ilam Tzedek, and to bring righteousness to the world. The Lishbar Zreya Harashayim, to destroy the arms of the Rishayim, and the Lochim Muhammad Hashem, and to fight the wars of God. And now comes the punchline. We don't appoint a king only for the sake of Lassus Mishnah Muhammad. And then he means a possible. What does that mean? And if this is the purpose, where is it not? Why isn't that not the first halacha that should be written in Hilchas Malachim? You should right away start off. Guys, you want a king? Yeah, they, 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 you, you, you want to know what a king is about? And Chelik Yudchas Lakuta Sichas ever stresses a part that this is talking about um, and, and the, the, the Mohammeds that he fights, that he fights our wars. <clears throat> and he says that the whole purpose of a king is to remove obstacles from Torah and Mitzvahs and to strengthen Kim Torah And that's what it means. Menil Chemes Mocham is saying that he's going to fight our wars, which is said by Melech HaMashiach, as we cause Lahasir to take away all, everything that's an obstacle in Aved Hashem. And that's why, oh yeah. <clears throat> And that's the idea of Hashem. That's the thing. The intent is to remove obstacles, remove all evil. So I think what comes out from this Rambam is the definition of a king, ultimately. And that is Lasis Mishpot Umulchams. Sumerava Sete. To elevate the Das Emmons. Um, that's a king. You want to know what the definition of king? A king is not a uh, is not royalty. In other words, in Judaism, there would be no purpose in keeping a monarchy going for the sake of um for the sake of beauty to, to for, for cover. That's not the purpose. Purely, the king is only there for tyrants. That's the purpose of the king. I mean, a lot of things fit in in Hilchis Malachim of Sefer Torah and having it with them all the time. I, I, it's not the place here, but this is, you want a definition of king, that's king. Other than that, otherwise, leaders, yeah, there's a lot of leaders. There's, there's, there's many leaders in Kuala Yisrael. So, based on this, Hilchis Malachim starts off with these two things. What is the quintessential removal of evil? Is Mechias Hamalek. Sumera. What's the quintessential toiv in the world? Binyin Beis Abchir. Dear B'dachtein, and bringing the Ebersh into the world. So that's why in Hilchis Malachim, he starts off in Sefer Halachis, that is in the Rambam, is not only... In the end, say from mitzvahs, where he's out to, to explain the mitzvah. As the Rebbe says, he brings in everything of the three places to tell you that this, you want to know the mitzvah? They're all three, they're all three, one, one, uh, 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 one entity. 
they connected, interconnected. In in Yad, his main purpose here in Hilchas Malachim is not just to tell us that they're intertwined and interconnected. He's saying much deeper. This is the definition of a king. The definition of a king is Chiyas Amalek, Beis Amchira. This is where he's setting us up by the fact that, that that's what the, and, and this comes first. And these are all results of his actions. This is the king. This is the said again. So Halach and Berik Dalin is really defining what he wrote in Berik Dalin. Ah. So now we can understand what happened, why in Halach and Beis, he's not giving us a drush and telling us as a Shabbos drush for a love. As why is there a king? And then when it comes to Parshas Shaftim or when he, <laughs> or, or Parshas uh, um, Zohar, that, that's not what he's here for. Why didn't David accept the king the, 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 when, when they asked the smoke? And why is that a question of having Mitzvah Shichas Kavan or Mitzvah Enet Shichas Kavan? It is telling you. If you want a king, then I was like, yeah, you say, if you want a king for anything else, you don't want a king. You want to, you know, that's not it. You know, and, and it says that the, the Nia Kichol HaGoyim. It's not the word Nia Kichol HaGoyim. We're going to be, the Goyim don't have a king. The Goyim have a leader, a sar, a shefet. A king is a mitzius of Teir mitzvahs. His whole mitzvah is last in Mishpat Muhammad's meaning Menias uh of Tayyar Mitzvah and the Khamzik Das Emes. That's it. If you want something else, you're not wanting a king. <laughs> it's not just because we want to be like the Goyim. Being a Goyim is, is, is if the Goyim would have a king, the Goyim, they don't have this concept. And that's why he said in Allah that is that straight away the game. Heaven. You want, to have, you, need, you want to understand what I'm saying here? This is what I'm saying. This is what the Raman writes. Akaponim, it's all based on this he's saying. But I think in Hilchis, Malachim, it's, it's, it's accentuated in a different way even than the other two. Not only is it in the point, but this is the Yisait of a king. Zayi Gizut Nishtar, Katzlacher Rabbah, 